Hello there, it's so nice to see you here because in this tutorial I'd like to show you how to make those brush photographs, those placeholders for images and this is a very simple technique, it's very popular, so you should know also how to do this. I will show you one way of doing this. Of course there are a couple of other ways because we can add vector splash or vector brushes into here, but I will show you the way doing that with a font. I here for example found a font Edo SZ, which would be very suitable for that. Not only it's free, it has great design and this would be perfectly suitable. Look for example at the letter I, at the letter O, also here down those elements, this dot, maybe this little element, all those would be perfect for that. So let me get into PowerPoint. Don't use this box because from this box it wouldn't work. You need to create a new text box. I'll simply get a new text box and I'll do maybe this little dash. I'll click on it and I select my Edo font. Okay, right now we can't really see it. Let's make it bigger. Perfect. This looks cool. Let me maybe start with that. I'll press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and I place it on the side to maybe also create a... And I'll maybe also create a dot. Now this would be as well perfect. All right, so how to do this entire thing? You need to go to insert shapes and you need to insert the shape. The shape has to cover this object. Now you just take this object, you place it over it. Well, we can see, so right click and bring to front. You have this object selected, press shift on your keyboard, select the object beneath it. Now go to format, merge shapes, and simply intersect them. What we get now is instead of a font, we get this vector object. Maybe let's reshape it a bit. I, for example, think something like this would be super awesome. Okay. You can always, since this is a vector object, you can right click, edit points and edit the points a little. What I wanted to achieve here, I wanted the middle to be black, so let me make I would like the middle to be black. Okay, now this point uh, isn't helping me because they are crossing each other. I wouldn't want that. I, I would need to select and delete a few points, but let's, hey, let's make it like that. Okay, we have something like this. This little element, that's no problem. You simply select another shape and you just cover that up. And boom, you are basically ready. Now select all of them because this would be a prepared placeholder. Go to Format, again to Merge Shapes, and you want to union all those objects, because I want this to become one object. Now don't be put off about the color, you can always cre create no outline, and you can make it black again if you want it, but I'll place this image inside of this. And let's see how this will go. Right click, Format Shape, inside of the Fill Options. I select picture or texture fill and I from the file options select my picture. Having this here I'm really happy because this looks really amazing. Remember that you can always go to the format and to the crop options. Inside the crop options you can always take the photograph and you can reposition, reshape this photograph. Because if you would take this object and reshape this object, you see this photograph becomes distorted. So Always remember, format, you can crop the image, you can crop it back. Of course the image would be now too small, the image is something like this, so I would need to press Ctrl Z and leave it like that. The same principle would be with this little object. This one looks even better and you can for example do a letter I, let me show you what eventually you could do. Alt 2, object, make the object sent to back select this, select this, format, merge, intersect. This is why I told you that you could also implement vector elements, vector brushes, ready vector objects inside of PowerPoint and then use these. But we are using the font method and this would be Ctrl C, Ctrl V, we could duplicate this a few times, we could create really a custom shape with it. Now I would need to make a few adjustments, maybe a few custom points here, make something really outstanding 
from it and boom something like that I don't even have to group it I would go to format merge I would union them boom and I have another very cool placeholder for my photographs so this is one way of doing this I hope you did enjoy this tutorial this is a very popular technique I didn't invent this I just know that this is one way of doing this so I wanted to share this technique with you with for example a dark background like we have here boom this really becomes something really awesome I would even select with the eyedropper the color of the sky and now this looks even better